You know what, recently I stumbled upon a really cool tool that can turn your designs into product mockups. Specifically, I'm using it to create these really cool book mockups like this. If I'm selling an ebook, for instance, I can use this tool and turn it into this 3D realistic looking uh, book cover. So I'm just switching between these designs so you can see what it looks like. And here's one of my products. And right here is a different kind of mockup design. And the best part about all this is that the tool is free to use. There's no watermarks and I really couldn't believe it myself too until I actually tried it and exported and downloaded these mock-ups. So let me show you exactly what it is and how you can get started with the tool. Hey all, it's Aurelius. Welcome back to the channel. As you saw and as you can tell, I'm quite excited about this tool because it's not only free, but I like to use it on a regular basis. I create digital products, so therefore I want to create these realistic looking mock-ups because at the end of the day, it's just a digital product. You want to make it as kind of tangible as possible, at least in the eyes of online viewers. So let me reveal the exact tool that you can use to create these mockups. It's called the Mockup Generator tool by Freepik. So it's a tool offered by them. If you go to tools, you can also access it through there and you'll see Mockup Generator. In their pricing and plans, however, looking at it, individual license, we've got free plan, daily downloads. You can only download 10 uh, assets, I guess, per day. And if you do want to upgrade, you get unlimited. When you click on more info, it'll give you more info in terms of what they calculate a download as and how it resets. But non-registered users can download like three downloads per day. Whereas if you sign up for free, you get 10 downloads per day. However, all this doesn't apply when it comes to the mock-up generator and the other range of tools that they are currently offering because I tested this myself and I actually exceeded the 10 download uh, downloads per day limit and it actually still works. So with that, let's go ahead and try out the mock-up generator and I'll show you how it works. Click on mock-up generator and from here you'll see the landing page and these are the kinds of mock-ups you can create. You can create apparel mock-ups, devices, print, like the book I shared with you, packaging as well. So going down, let's say you do want to create a t-shirt mock-up, click on this and you can try the editor. Scrolling down, we've got a few other uh, visuals and mock-ups here. We've got iPhones, Vision Pro, uh, Mac, digital, and other mock-ups too. But scroll down because I want to show you under print, you've got books, posters, cards, stationery, and signs. These are the mockups under books, which might be useful for you if you're a digital product creator too. The mockup that I use is this simple, straight, angled mockup. And all you need to do if you do want to use the mockup is to click on try the editor. That'll take you to the actual editor where you can start uploading your media or assets. So right here is the blank mockup. Click once you can see add image. Just click that and then upload your cover image for your book, ebook. So this is what I prepared earlier and I simply used Canva to design this or more so find a template and download it for this purpose. But just wanted to show you and demonstrate because right here, once you click open, it does everything right. So you just need to size it if it's not sized right. So you can see right here and see a real time preview of what it will look like. Now, I'll just show you what it looks like right off the bat. So click done, there we go, all done. Now you can download it right away. But hey, let's say you don't have an ebook cover ready. Simply head to Canva, search for ebook. Of course, you have to register first and then browse through the range of ebook covers that they provide. And then from here, you do some basic customization. So we're gonna customize this template, for instance, and then add your own book title, change the elements, the images, graphics, or what have you, download it, all right, as a PNG. And then what you'll do is follow those steps that I just explained. And then you should have something like this. If you go back, there are a few other customization options. So if you click once on the cover, click on edit element, that'll bring up things like text that you can actually add to your cover. So you don't necessarily have to design in Canva, but because Canva offers a range and a ton of templates that are ready made, all you need to do is just edit it 
and then download it as opposed to starting from scratch. So I don't really see any use of this because that's just gonna make things a little harder and you're not gonna get as a professional look as you would if you were to use Canva. But going here, you've got elements as well. Let's say you wanna add a triangle here. You can do so and uh, put it wherever you want. And there are a few other options, of course, in terms of editing it. So if you look at the toolbar right here, click that once, you can change the color of the border, change the fuel color as well right here. And then click on more options right here. You're given even more options in terms of positioning, the order of the layers. You've got the addition and the sizing and also opacity and transparency. But you know what? I'm just gonna delete that because my cover's already designed and you won't believe this, but you can actually download a 5K version. That is 5,000 pixels by 3333 pixels. And that is gonna be more than enough for any kind of uh, asset that you're trying to create. So if you wanna display this on social media, more than enough, you wanna display it on your website, more than enough in terms of the pixels and the quality. So download it and then right there, you'll see downloading and it's in my downloads folder right there, bam, all good to go. An additional thing that might be useful is you don't want this white background. You don't want any background at all. All you need to do is go to background hit the transparent background option. And then when you save it, that image is just a standalone image. There's nothing in the background. So it doesn't matter where you'll be embedding this image or if you're using Photoshop or if you're using Canva, there won't be any of that white background or whatever color background there is. So all you really have is that clean ebook cover or whatever mock-up you've created with the shadow. And then you can add it to whatever asset or media or design you want. And there you go, that's FreePix Mockup Generator. Currently free and it's actually in their name called FreePix. I'm not sure how long they're going to leave it up for free for use without any watermarks and things of that nature. I think inevitably it will be part of their paid plans, but for now, let's just enjoy it and use it freely. Hope this video was helpful and this tool is going to be useful in your digital product creation. If you liked it, be sure to give this video a thumbs up and I'm looking forward to sharing the next trading with you.